But first off, Dave, what's up with Vince? Nothing's up with Vince. Nothing. I mean, as far as I mean, the story going around regarding creative, and it's it's essentially the case. Vince has backed off on creative for now. You know, that's how it was described to me. For now, he's backed off. I mean, when he, you know, I mean, he still has the power. If he wants to change something, he will. But right now, um, he's pretty much backed off on that. So right now, what you're seeing right now is pretty much what I was told 99% or whatever, 95% Paul Levesque. I mean, he's still around, but, um, you know, and there's probably going to be input when it comes to main event programs and things like that going forward. But right now, um, you know, it is mostly the Paul Levesque show now as far as like what's going on, you know, what's going on in TV and everything. Is there a reason for this? Um, I mean, people will say it's the merger, but Vince still has the power. So it's just, um, I don't, there's like, whatever the reason is, I don't know. I mean, it's just something that, uh, you know, Vince is backing off for now. All right. Well, that's story, everybody. So that could change next week, I'm sure. It always does. Yes. That's why I like, like, it's like, whatever, you know what I mean? It's like, how many times have we been told this? You know, probably a dozen times, and it always changes at some point, and I'm presuming that uh, this will probably change at some point as well. All right. Well, Tuesday, which, by the way, we're going to be doing our show Tuesday night instead of Wednesday this week. We'll be covering AEW and NXT, their head-to-head battle, and uh, more has been added today. First, NXT announced that they were going to be having an overrun. And then uh, AW is also well. We 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 they knew always that have both, an overrun. But it's going to be a longer overrun for NXT. Well, well we know that they're both going to have overruns. Both companies are going to have overruns. So that's been known all week. But um, they both the the, the um, thirty minutes commercial free uh, NXT announced first. Then AEW announced that. To me, at this point, it's like well, it is what it is. You know, I mean, we know the game, but I I don't like when it's so clear and it's and this goes both ways that you are completely reacting to the other person rather than trying to you know like basically um worrying about yourself you're worrying about the other opposition which i guess that's all know, this is it's this all is all is. about worrying about the opposition there's not one thing about it that is not worrying about the opposition okay but okay but okay here's the thing some of it some of it is beneficial to the fans in the sense, well, it all is really because, you know, they're both, you know, going so hard trying to put on good shows. But the mentality when you are worried so much about the opposition is that you usually, um, it's usually not a good thing in the long term. You know, you really should be worried about yourself. But, you know, I mean, um, I mean, I understand it's kind of like this big thing and everything. Um, and then uh, AW added. And this is like a legitimate last-minute ad. You know, I mean, this, it's not like this was planned a week ago or anything. This was a last-minute ad. They're going to have Eddie Kingston defend the New Japan Strong and the ROH world title against Minoru Suzuki on Twitter, on Facebook at 730. So they will have, you know, I mean, they will be on first, which is in theory an edge, but it's really pretty much I – don't, I don't think it, it's that much of an edge because – you know, we've seen this before. I mean, it, you know, they'll have they'll have 100,000 people watching that, maybe more, but, you know, somewhere in that range. I mean, because we saw that when they did Brian Danielson and Minoru Suzuki. And so it's something. Um, and, I mean, look, they, you know, it's, it's something. And what the hell? We're getting a great match that was not planned. And, uh, you know, that's, that's you know, another, another thing added to tomorrow. Well, NXT has Carmelo Hayes with John Cena versus Braun Breaker with Paul Heyman. So Cena and Heyman both on the show. Oscar's on the show facing Roxanne Perez. The Brawling Brutes and Tyler Bate will be facing Gallus in a pub rules match, so hardcore match. Cody's going to be there to make a major announcement. And The Undertaker is going to be there. And I guess Becky is going to be there. And uh, probably some other surprises as well. But that is the NXT... <laughs> lineup as of right now and then for aw we've got the buy-in as they're calling it which is the eddie kingston Minoru suzuki match that's going to be half hour before the main show starts we've got adam copeland in his debut for aw against luchasaurus christian cage will explain his actions towards adam copeland 
Brian Danielson swerves Strickland, TNT title number one contenders match winner, gets their title shot on Saturday's collision. Soraya versus Akaru Shida for the women's title. Ray Phoenix, John Moxley, which we'll have to talk about in a second. Jay White versus Hangman Page. Chris Jericho versus Powerhouse Hobbs. And then appearances by MJF and Tony Storm. Now, John Moxley was scheduled to wrestle on Sunday. Yeah, right in the Revolver show. And he came out and said that he was not clear to wrestle by the doctor for Sunday. Yes. They've already announced him for this show. They've announced him for So he's cleared for this show, but he was not cleared for Sunday's show. That's what you're telling me? I'm not telling you anything. I am relatively sure that... uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what the clearance situation is as far as that, and that goes, but I don't think that AEW probably wanted him wrestling on a show uh, before Tuesday. But there's a there's a problem with this, Dave. Yes. And that is that when he came back from rehab, his first match was not for AEW. It was on an indie show. Yes. He also won the AEW title. And what, and by the way, before he won the AW title, like he was scheduled to face Nick Gage when he was not supposed to be the champion, but he won the title. And do you remember yeah. that whole thing? Like there's mm-hmm. no chance he should be wrestling as the AW champion against Nick Gage and losing. And guess what? He did. So yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know about this one. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. I guess we'll find out tomorrow, yeah. yeah. So that's the uh, lineup for the two shows. It's Tony Khan's birthday. And uh, Vinny's yeah. birthday as well, so quite a birthday yeah. day for everybody. Yeah, interesting. Um, it will be an, a very interesting day on Wednesday when the ratings come out. And, I mean... I'll be out of the country that day. Yeah, what? Hopefully. Where, where, are you going? where are you going? The moon. I'll go <laughs> anywhere. I do not want to be around Monday or Wednesday for that. Oh, it's like no big God. deal. I mean, I'm probably going to like me? check out, no big deal. check Get out, out after here. a while. But the thing is, is that uh, you know, I mean, it's um, it's just it's, I mean, it's it's it doesn't. It's like it's it's very very overblown over something that isn't really that important. Except it has been made exceptionally important based on the actions of both companies in the last two days. They've made it way 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 more important. So, so from a certain situation, it's actually very important now because it's a, a big ego thing, and um, you know, there's going to be there's going to be somebody, there's going to be one side very disappointed, um, most likely. But uh, most likely, well, one sure. side is going to be very disappointed unless it's a tie. Then they'll both be furious. Well, I, you know what? I think a tie actually, actually, I think a tie AEW would be happy with. Because it it because the reality is, is WWE went so hard. I even think if it's close, that AEW will be happy. Um, but if it's a blowout, they won't be because there's been, you know, the the blowouts on uh, what you would call blowouts. I mean, like you know Saturday and um, you know some of the other things. You know, when they've been going on those Saturday, the last two Saturdays. Um, the AEW numbers have not been strong going against WWE, and they're going. Uh, they're they're both going against a baseball playoff game, and sports seem to hurt AEW. You know, it's funny because sports hurt Raw, and sports hurt SmackDown, and sports definitely hurt AEW. But for whatever reason, news and sports never really seem to hurt NXT. It's like the NXT audience is like immune from, you know, like they'll put, have something really big on, and it doesn't really hurt them nearly as much as as every other show, but. You know, whatever. And also, uh, NHL's on ESPN, which is not a big deal, you know, NHL regular season at all, but it is the the beginning of the season, and it is something else. So there's a lot of – the baseball's big, though. You know, it's a, um, you know, it's, it's a major playoff game. Um, so um, that's on Fox. So, um, you know, it's a big night. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers. 
at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.